Sherman, and welcome to another episode of Tea Time with Sherman. This week I have Lourdes, the very virgin, joining us. I have a problem with the fact that there's no air in here and I'm going to die. Open the door now. I'm suffocating. The air is on. Chris, you have no idea. I can't take it. Just give me a fan. It's unbelievable. I mean, I can't even think to answer a question. Let's start off and talk about Alberta's Next Reg Superstar. What was that sort of experience for you like, and what did you learn from it? I'm waking up in the morning, I'm having a coffee, I barely can swallow it. Um, I come here at Caesar's Palace every night to perform. I barely can sing. But for respect for the people who come, I am still singing. When I come home at night, my son is waiting for me. I watch television. Yes, we gave a million dollars. But what we expect, what I want to look like the rest of the world, I open the television. There's people still there waiting to be rescued. And for me, it's not acceptable. I know there's reasons for it. I'm sorry to say I'm being rude. Um, next, I just want to ask you about what's it like, like, take us through your process of creating a number. Because sometimes I'm just like walking around and I'm like, oh, that's a good idea, but you're actually a good drag queen. So how do you think of ideas? Since you ask, most days I cannot remember. I walk in my clothing, unmarked by that voyage. Then the almost unnameable lust returns. Even then I have nothing against life. I know well the grass blades you mentioned, the furniture you have placed under the sun. Let's get on to the reading of the bitches. Okay, let's do it. Sister Lilith. We've talked about her a little bit already, let's talk about her again. I just feel so much in sync with her. She's like my double. We're, we're both Italian Catholic girls coming out of, of strict families with strong father figures. We both have pornographic minds. We both love gay men and drag queens. We're, we're workaholics. We're drug free. We have trouble with relationships. You know, and we, we just have this ability to speak to a no. I, I feel it's easier to speak to a million people than, than, to, than to, to deal with one. Oh my. Yes, Lord, it's still best. Yeah. Uh, Roselle Christina. She is so full of the most wonderful freedom and spirit and she's so kind and working with her has always been very exciting and very fun and we have shared some wonderful honest moments together she comes to my shows I ask her questions she's giving me advice Milk from RuPaul's Drag Race season six and one of the judges like you. Does he look like a bitch? <laughs> Does he look like a bitch? Uh, finally, Miss Yamasu. Is that? this bitch's fault because she let my man have her? <laughs> and she didn't say nothing. She didn't scream. She didn't do nothing. So roast me since she told you. I did to her who what was going to love me <laughs> since you got your degree <laughs> do every fucking thing who was going to love me who, who was going to make me feel good who was going to touch me and make me feel good like <laughs> she made him go away so when you sit there and you write them fucking notes on your pad about who you think I am and why I did it and all of that Yes, yeah, we've got to go one more question and we've got to head to a show. What is your pro tip for queens just starting and queens who want to do drag tomorrow? Um, I will do my very best and um, I'll do my best. <laughs> <sighs> I pray you'll be alright and watch us where we go and have to be wise in times when we don't know let this be our prayer when we lose our way lead us to a place guide us with your grace to a place where we'll be safe. Oh,
really, that's all, folks. <laughs>